the second level I would I would stick to either doing glitter dust or doing a ranged attack because you have no range. Um, so like to Wait, reach and touch. So scorching like ray. Scorching ray would be ranged touch. Yeah, but I mean it's still like you're you're just doing a ranged touch attack instead of like yeah. it's still and has giant's range AC for, for touch is usually single digits. It's pretty terrible. Because they're so I mean, big. that's D six at you know forty five feet or something like that. So I mean that. I mean, it just depends on if you want to do. You could also do bull strength, which just gives you two more or two more modifiers to your strength. Yeah, and then there was blood armor, which I thought was interesting. So if you're injured, you get more AC. Yeah, it's just it's too it's too situational for me. Like you have well, to take I guess my every five is, points you take. Plus, isn't your armor like plus two or something? My armor? Yeah. What's your armor's enhancement bonus? Is it plus two or plus one? My my mithril breastplate is a plus nine. Well, what's is no, it like a mithril breastplate plus two? two? Is it like a... It's a plus yeah, three yeah. metro plus plate. Okay, so you could only net gain plus two from blood armor because your armor's enhancement is already three and you oh, max okay. at five. I see, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Is it too hot? Is that good? Or false life. Oh, that was the one I was thinking of, Scott. False life. That's the second level? Yeah. It's the, I instead, wouldn't... Of, I... instead of the other one. I, I wouldn't, but, I mean, it, you can. I'd, I'd get something. I'd get either the, um, I'd either get the, what is it, the Scorching Phantom Ray blood. or the Glitter Phantom Dust. Phantom Blood and then Scorching Ray. I'd get yeah. Phantom Blood... And then you got Mirror Strike, and then Scorching Ray is what I would get. That way you have some type of ranged damage. Okay. No more trade. Okay. Did you figure out, are you taking one more HP, one more, or one more skill rank? I took Which one, one more skill rank. Okay, cool. Sounds uh, good. And I took Iron Will, Improved Crit on the Falcon. Yeah, I, up, I updated all your saves on your reference sheet, too. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, I think you're all, you're all leveled up. Yep. Uh, anyone get anything exciting? We just talked about Andrew's character uh, ad nauseum, but uh, anyone else get anything cool? That they want to share? You can keep it secret if you want. Got a fifth level spell. Ooh! Jay gets a fifth level spell next level. Ooh. Breaking out the big boys. Do you pick a good one? I yeah. mean, clearly, but... I don't even know uh, fifth level spells, uh, so I'm scared. So. Like, is it, is it one that you're excited about? Yes. Okay. Did also, you? What other spells did you change around? Yeah, what like, did you change from Marshall... Weaponry. Yeah, what is your new feat? I still have martial weaponry because I cannot find another one that's even good. <laughs> Did you not look at the blood hex feats that I gave you? That I you could take like Iron Will or the ones that do reflex or whatever your worst save is and just take that instead. Yeah, yeah. I was just looking up what people are like talking about hexes you should or uh, feats you should take and they all stop like where I'm at. Like, no one says anything. There's actually one at level 10 that I really want, but... That's because, uh... Have you ever thought about doing, like, the meta magic feats? Yeah. Because those would be kind of cool. I've looked at some <clears throat> of those, and, like, the quicken spell and stuff is insane. I wouldn't do that. I would more, like, try to do, like... Like the, uh... What is it? Heightened... Heightened spell or like empowered spell that way you can 
you know, deal more damage if you're going to deal damage. Yeah, I just... Or maybe do what Drew said and kind of go the archery route and just... You know, you have bracers. You could, you could get uh, you could do like some archery things. Yeah, I feel it's just like my action. You know the the list of actions I have to take. Action, action economy. Yeah, that's it. Is already so long. I don't know if I ever have time yeah. to use my bow. No, probably not. Because you're younger, bro. I would do something for like your fortitude or your reflex save, but everyone's worse. Uh, I can I can look up some cool feats and see if you like any of them. I don't do anything at work, so. <laughs> okay. He does more pathfinder work than actual work. True. Uh, literally, I do. But I appreciate I appreciate it because my reference sheet is on point. Extensive. I'll look up some feats and, and, and see. All right. Uh, I got a really cool investigator talent. What is it? What is it? It's called Mutagen. And it's it's an extract that it's, well, I guess technically it's a mutagen, but it's something that an alchemist has. Right. You can drink this. And you, it lasts 10 minutes per level. And it gives you plus two to your natural armor bonus, plus four to your dex, uh, and then minus two to wisdom. So a net plus four to my AC. It's pretty sick. And then all of. And plus two to hit and plus two to damage with the decks. So that's pretty cool. I'm excited about that. I might take Reach spell, actually. Is that, is that like a, is that one of the meta magics that it only costs like one spell level? Yeah. It's one spell level for each range increment that you increase a spell. So I could, you know, it's variable. So you, so you can, can shoot, shoot a fireball, fireball at 800, 800 plus, plus whatever, whatever feet. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything farther oh, than... Oh, you get those... Oh. You get that, um... What What was that called? Grim... Grimlock ray death things? Gloom... Blood, gloom something bolts? Yeah, did you get those? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I was excited for those. Uh, I got a cool third level extract called haste if anybody knows what that does that spell is so good it is very good it's busted. busted it'll be it'll be awesome for drew and i just to be front line with plusing to our attack and damage rolls and get to make an extra attack every round it's it's crazy that's that a, a glass, glass cannon, cannon special, special right there, there. They, they use that, that. As, soon as soon as somebody, somebody locks, locks it, it every, every single, single combat, combat haste, haste. Really? Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it's, it's straight, straight bumping. bumping. That, that spell spells nuts. nuts. It's it's insane. Yeah. You guys, you guys ready? ready? Anyone, Anyone else have anything, anything they want to share? share? I apologize for the tardiness. That's, That's okay. okay, bro. We're good. I just, I just have, have a boulder, boulder waiting, waiting for you to wake, wake up and just smash it into right, right where your cot, cot is. is. Yep. Oh, I know. Yep. <laughs> I know. You you have my number now because. Hulk smash. I also took uh, second level extracts for um, invisibility. That way we have more invisibility access. Nice. Oh, don't waste all of Jared's <laughs> yeah. level Poor Jared, Jared has burned burn every, every single, single slot, slot he has. has. All right. All right. Well, well, it's, it's morning. morning. I'm, I'm going to uh, go, go ahead, ahead and say that as you guys, guys kind of peek out in the morning, morning um, you don't you need, need perception check this. You can start to see people starting, starting to line up already. already. Slowly, Slowly but surely. surely. I gotta 
I my roll twenty. What would you guys, guys like, like to, to do? do? Where even are we? Oh, there we are. Um. Well, do you guys want to take the the poop wagon in? You just want to invisibility running in there. I mean, I think running in there invisible is more risky uh, because they can still, I mean, you still move past them. Yeah, I mean, honestly, we're probably going to have to invisibility just to get to the wagon regardless. Yeah, we will have to invisibility get to the wagon and then invisibility while we're in it to get inside, and then probably even more when we're in it. Well, it should last long enough. If we just pop it, run to the wagon, the wagon goes in. It's the last nine minutes. Right, right. And, and if you guys, guys don't, don't do any combat, combat it, it won't, won't break. break. So. Yeah. So you're just going to wait for the poop wagon? wagon? Uh, yeah. Are we all in favor of going inside this thing or going anywhere else? I'm down for this. I don't really know where else we'd go. I've, I've drawn, drawn every direction, direction, so if you choose not to, we should be okay. I mean, let's go inside. If people want to go inside, let's go inside. I'm going to go inside. All right. So, so, you guys, guys wake, wake up, up, not a whole lot going on, um, you, you see the line of giants starting to form, I was kind of slowly growing as you guys are talking, um, and approximately four hours later, you see this, coming in very slowly, on the wrong layer, and kind of like bouncing around. You know, between areas and whatnot, kind of taking its time. And as it moves towards the line, like, the people in the line, like, get out of the way. So it, like, can go by. You know, like, it'll drive, yeah, it'll go through, and then it'll go back. Um, all right, so it's getting, it's getting just past this one, and it's moving forward towards the fence. So anything you guys would like to do? I think we should pop an invis and then jump in. Yeah, just kind of because of yeah, just try and catch it. Who's casting an invis? I mean, it'll have to be jarred, wouldn't it? Come on, you covering them all? Four four, four slots? slots? He's, He's like, like, yeah, I got, got it. it. Or what about um? Can't what's his name take a invis potion? Yeah, it lasts. Nine rounds instead of nine minutes. Okay. He has the yeah. upgraded version. Okay. All right. So here's what we're going to do. I, Jared can cast invisibility on all of us. I will give each of you a potion of invisibility in case it's needed. You know, at, like it wears off or something and we need it to be active again. And you, yours, or, yours or yours are the greaters. greaters. You're gonna spend four of your greater slots, spell slots. No, I, I got another second level, which gave me invisibility. Oh, okay. So you, you also have this. Okay. okay. So, so you, you guys, guys can. Okay. okay so you, you have, have two sets, sets of it. So you guys can go 18, 18 minutes. minutes. Yeah. So everybody can have one of these to one pop of my whenever. extra invisibility extracts. It, when Jared's spell ends, then you can just pop the extract. Okay. That way we have then 18 minutes of continuous stealthiness. Yeah. Okay, okay my, my next, next question is, she is only just bouncing off of that tent to the right of you. Um, you guys don't know how long it's going to be before she actually gets to the very front. She could go straight there. She could, you know, go across and then come back down here. 
So, so like, what, what when, when do you guys, guys want to pull the trigger? trigger? Um. So what was it? Was she just coming down like this? Yeah. yeah so. Was she probably gonna go up? I can't, I can't draw, draw it. Um. I can do something like that. Yeah, yeah she's she's, she's, she's like, like ping, ping ponging across, across, you know, ding 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 ding, 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 ding. and she, she just, just came, came over, over here. here. Now, now she's, she's going, going this way. way. So, so I'm just saying, saying what, when do you guys want to actually like? Pull the trigger, like, like when, when she, she gets, gets all the way up to the very front here. Or I think so. Okay. okay. I mean, unless you guys just want to pop it, completely cover ourselves, and then wait. Do they take like a break at any point to like? I don't know. Just B base. Uh, move and like. Give me a knowledge local. Or history, either yeah. one. Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, I'll, I'll, go, with the, I'll go the one without the bonuses. bonuses unless, unless you want, want the bonus, bonus one. I mean, it's the exact same thing, except one higher. Okay, so, so, so 25 is. Yeah. yeah. Um, ever since, since they are in this area, area where, where you guys, guys are, are, they do not take breaks. They, they could, could take breaks behind the wall. They could take breaks over here to the right. Um, or the east, I should say. But you have not seen them take breaks as of yesterday when they ping pong here until they vanish. And remember, they were in here for a while. So yeah, I think we should just wait until they get up to the the gate. You know, even if they're on like you know this side, we should still be able to just like run past. Zoom, zoom. zoom. Yeah. Okay, okay, so you, you guys, guys have, have to wait, wait an extra 40 minutes. It's a good thing you waited. But they finally get up to the gate. Um, I'm going to move everyone here out of the way. They get to the gate, and the gate start, the portcullis starts slowly rising. You guys, I say we. Book it. Tapped by uh, Kabor and book it. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm going to do this in initiative order because timing matters here. So everyone starts where they are. And I'm going to say the, fir the surprise round was them pulling up there. So the poor course is just now starting. So everyone roll for initiative. And I'm going to roll for initiative as well. This isn't a combat initiative. This is... Well, it could be, depending on how poorly you do. Is to see if anyone has any difficulties getting into the cart. Okay. So, so Sticker Tricks, you're up first. I do have heightened awareness active. Okay. Just to let you know. What was your, what was your, I got a 16. Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, cool. Um, Girl Talk, what was yours? 25. Okay. All right. Um, Kabor. Nine. What's your bonus? Plus six. Okay. Um, and Kyle, what'd you get? Also nine. Okay. So you two need to roll. You two need to roll d twenties. It's just gonna be a flat roll. Whoever's higher will go first. Beat a nineteen, bro. Do I do you guys think that like Grotog should help everyone into the cart and then pull himself up? I mean, I mean that'd, that'd be up, up to you guys. guys. Okay. Mean, yeah, that's kind of up to you if you want to like hop in and pull us up, or if you want to like do the military under the foot thing, or. Let's do the military under the foot thing, and he'll hoist everyone up. Okay. okay well, up first is Grotog. Yep. So I think he should run to like here. Uh, uh, it's like here, and then like station, and like. Well, what's, what's your, your movement, movement speed? Forty. Because you can go eighty. I mean, you can run straight to it. Yeah, straight, straight line. line. Yeah, it's four, four times, times speed, speed, right? So I put, put you here. Yeah. Okay, let's do that.
Okay. Um, um, Secret Trick, you're up next. All right. I'm going to go 120. Uh, Kyle, you're next. Welcome. And then... What was that for? Perception check. Okay. Um, Just to see if I can notice anything. Yeah, so far no one's noticed you. Um, and the two guards at the fence are just kind of like ignoring everything because they they know who these people are and they don't like the poop smell, so they're just kind of kind of mm. turning turning away a little bit. All right, so Kabor can run like across the map if he wanted to, so he can go <laughs> all the way there if he wants. Yeah, he can just run up straight to it, right? Like he can't hop in yet. Yeah, he can get like straight. You can get all the way to the edge if you'd like, or you can sit next to to Grotog. Now, remember, you guys can't see each other, so you you could bump into each other and stuff, because <laughs> you're also invisible, and so are they. So, unless you That's have see invisibility, you cannot see each other. But you know where the footprints are, right? I mean... Yeah, I mean, you guys can look out for it. I mean, it depends on the ground, right? Yeah. You know what the ground looks like. It's just, imagine, it's like, just dirt. Yeah, it's just yeah. dirt. It used to be grass kind of worn away from all the activity. Think like the really crappy soccer fields we used to play on. Right. Yeah. All right. Uh, so up next is the fence, and it it is now open. The portcullis. Because it started. It started this whole thing, and then now it is open. All right, Grotog, you are up. Uh, so I would like to... Uh, I would like to like stand here and like try and help everyone in. All right, how, how are you going to see them? Focus on the ground, I guess. Yeah, I can do a survival check and watch the footprints. Okay, I'm just saying like once you see them if they're up close, how are you going to lift them up in there? You can't like do the hand thing because they can't see your hands. I'll just pick them up and throw them in. Like... <laughs> okay, you're going to hay bale them. <laughs> yeah, just hay bale them. All right. All right, so you're there and ready to rumble. Uh, would you like to ready an action the first person that comes next to you? You're just going to eat them? Because you just did a move action. Yep. How high is this climb check? How high? Yeah. How, how we... hard is this climb check? Is it like DC 10 or... No, oh, who knows? You, when you try it, that'll, that'll tell you. True. You're know, just going to give out that information? You crazy? I mean, how tall is the um, wagon? Perception check me. You're up, Sicky, so. I think I improved my perception by one. It's a 15. Um, it's not as tall as you would think. It's a it's a little over our height. Um, if you think like I don't know how, what's the regulation, like tall bar size, like you know, you go to like a bar and you sit on the tall stools. It's that okay. it's that tall. So like you guys can see over the top of it. Okay. Um, but the whole thing is surrounded by like a kind of like a crappy wooden lace fence kind of thing to hold the poop in. So uh, I guess I'm just going to, you know, run. Okay. I'll start like slowing down as I get closer. So I'm not just like sprinting at it, but I don't know if you want to do like, do you have 80 feet? of movement? I'm just going to run. Yeah, but I think sprint. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, that's right. Yeah, you can just stop whenever. Because I don't really know where he is. So okay, gonna, well, this will trigger next This will trigger Grotog to heat you up. So, Grotog, give me a survival check to see if you grab him. Now, Secretary, do you want to say anything to him when you pull up there? I don't know he's there, do I? Uh, No, I guess. You can, I mean, you can just whisper out. It's like, I'm in there. We so could I feel have like communicated to meet in front of, like, the back wheel. We could have. So. But we did. Yeah, I didn't hear anything about that until now, so. You didn't hear about anything about what? Where you guys are going to meet up and how you know each other are there and stuff like that. 
19 on the survival check. Okay. Um, Secret Trace, give me a stealth roll. Okay. Uh, 21. Okay, sweet. So you are, you are good enough to dodge suspicion in terms of your footsteps, and Grotog is able to see that, and he picks you up, he like grabs you by like the waist. And just like hurls yeah, you up in the air. Yeah. Right. And you kind of uh, land in there. You can give me an acrobatics check if you want to do a nice landing. Otherwise, you're going to yeah, just and minimize splash. Yeah. And noise. Yeah. Uh, 21. Yeah. That's great. You land in there on your feet. Um, minimal splash. Awesome. Okay. Um, up next is Ka. All right. Uh, so how can I, I can go as far as, what's his name, right? Uh, yeah, if you just run, yeah. Okay. I don't know. So that's a, I don't know what that, that's a perception to see if like the people are there. That's a. What people? 34, like if the giants have noticed anything. Oh yeah, no, you are still good to go. Uh, okay, well then. I'll, um, I'll... I forgot here. Uh, Sigatrix, since you are now in there, I need you to roll a fortitude save for me. Okay. Twelve. You are sickened for five minutes. Okay. So, you can ask Scott about sickened since he does it to me every five seconds. Um, Minus two on everything, right? Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, Kabor, you are now up. Okay, he's lined up. Okay. Here's where things start to get interesting. Because as you guys are all lined up there... Um... The card starts to move. Yep, yep the card, card starts, starts to move. move. So, so I, I need, need to pull you guys, guys back, back for a second, second so I can, can grab, grab these guys. guys. So, so it's, it, it moves like, like so. so. And, and you, you guys, guys are still, still here. So, so the people, people who are about, about to get crushed, crushed by... So I need uh, just... Um, Cod to roll reflex saves. Don't, don't get rolled over by the wheel, wheel as, as the wagon, wagon moves. moves. You said roll a reflex save? Yep. yep. Uh, 21. No, okay, okay, you're, you're good. good. You, just, you, you hop, hop right, right out of the way. Kind of just do like a side, side step. step. But, but now, now you guys, guys are, are behind, behind the, cart. the cart. And Secret <laughs> is, is, is going, going in solo. solo. <laughs> All, right, All right, go, go talk, talk you're up. up. Well, I think... I'm assuming that this... Or uh, ogre is like over here more. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving, moving them right, right now. now. I, don't I don't know, know how, how they got disjointed. So, I would try and like get here and try and hoist myself up. Okay. okay. Give me a climb, climb check. check. A what? A climb check? Yep. yep. Are you Are gonna, gonna do, do it on, on the, the wheel? wheel? Like, like well, it's like on the corner, I guess. So I, you, you can just stand, stand on the corner, corner then. then, like, like right, right there. there. Yeah. Kind of like, like where, where you just hop, hop up, up on, on a truck, truck in the back. back. Yeah, because I mean, I, I mean, I can't see, I can't really see what's his name, but I can't see Kabor and uh, Ka. But I know that Sicatrix is going by himself, and I think Grotog's instinct would say like he'd want to go make sure that he's okay. Sure. Kind of thing. So I think he's just gonna knee jerk reaction, try and hop in there by himself. All right, All right. Give, give me a climb, climb check. check. This, this car's, car's not moving, moving super fast, fast so DC's, DC's not horrible. horrible. 
Uh, 17. Okay, you make, make that. that. Now, now give, give me a stealth, stealth roll. roll. As, As you, you are right, right next, next to this, this uh, giant. giant. Oh, my God. Oh. What's, What's your total? total? Six. Okay, because okay, that's, that's a roll perception check. check so. Okay. okay. Interesting. Interesting. Um, you get plus 10 for being invis. I thought it was plus 20. It's, it's plus, plus 20. 20. Oh, you get plus 20, then. Yeah. yeah. It's plus, plus 40 if you're not moving. moving. Okay. Okay. Um, that's, that's very interesting. interesting. I rolled a eighteen on my roll, by the way. way. Okay, okay. Kyle, you're, oh, no, oh, no, signature, signature. You're up. You hear? Um, you hear? You, hear, you uh, uh, go a little perception, perception check, check for me. me. See, See if you can hear. You're, you're hanging, hanging on. on. I'm hanging on. I didn't pull myself up yet. Uh, Twenty-four. Uh, did, did you have to move up to the cart? I don't think you have enough action to pull yourself in. Huh. Okay. Okay, okay, so, so you, you hear, hear um, so you're, so you're just, just like hanging, hanging on, on, the, on the back, back like, like you're, you're uh, like on the back, back of a train, you know, just kind of clinging on there. Yeah. But you're, you're, you're on, on the cart. cart. You're hanging, hanging on there. It's just, just uh, you're, you're not, not in yet. yet. Okay. All right, so, so Sigurdrix, you do hear, hear him grasp on there. You hear somebody grip on there. You know, you're, you're aware that there's some, something afoot here. Um, Kyle, you're I'm worried about this. Because after second, there's nauseated. Nauseated. I'm worried that it's going to get worse. So I will. Yeah, five, five minutes. minutes so. so. Yeah, but I don't know if it's like every round you get a stage worse. Oh, oh and it's, it's every, every five, five minutes, minutes you, you roll, roll it. it. Okay. So. so. Right now. Yeah, I'm. I guess I'll just. You. You're, you're aware, aware he's, he's there. there. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out. I don't know if I can hoist him up, can I? Yeah, you can, you can walk, walk over, over there, there and do, do a strength, strength check, check to try to see if you can, can pull him up and in. in. Okay. I'll just, like, see where the finger is gripped or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Look, and then I'll try and hoist up. You can, you can kind, kind of feel, feel around, around your invisible, invisible hands, hands until you, you feel, feel something. something. Uh, it's an 11. Okay. okay. You, you have, have a grip, grip on him, but you're not strong enough to pull him up and in. But that will assist him when he needs to go in. All right. Okay. okay, Kyle, you're now, now up. Things are getting interesting um, here. I have a question. Yep. yep. How tall is this cart? Uh, if, if I had, I had to, to say, say like, like the, the bottom, bottom part up to where the sides are, are is like eight, eight feet, and then there's, there's like another three, three or four feet of like this wooden lattice on top of that. Could Ka fit underneath it? Yeah. Yeah, see, he is not tall enough to reach that. Uh, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, he, he could, could, he could definitely, definitely fit underneath, underneath it. it. Okay, then I'm just going to stealth and walk underneath it. Okay, okay. That's, that's genius. genius. I, I love, love that. that. Because I was like, well, I could, but I'm not going to try to, like, move through a bunch of people. But if I can just stealth underneath it and I'll just walk underneath it as it's being pulled. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, you, you can just place, place yourself underneath, underneath the cart somewhere, wherever you want to be. be. Um, I'm, I'm going to assume, assume you can navigate, navigate yourself quite easily. easily. All right, Kabor, you're now up. You don't want me to roll a stealth roll? Nah. nah. You sure? It might it might hit 50. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> I'm well aware I'm not going to be able to beat it, so I'm not even going to bother. Now, Kabor, you have enough movement, I believe, to get all the way... I guess, I guess these giants, giants kind of block him away a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm saying he can, like, like, you know, get here and kind of hold on up here. I mean, if did he see what was happening over here? No, no so, so he has, has no, no idea, idea that that, <laughs> that Grotox hanging on the corner. Could he also fit underneath the thing? No, no he's, he's too tall. tall. He's pretty tall. He's, he's definitely, definitely too tall. tall. What's he like six one or six two? Uh, yeah, yeah I forget exactly how tall he is, but around there. Well, I'm six eleven. That's the only reason why I know that I cannot fit underneath it. Yeah. yeah. So, so I mean, like the bottom of the wagon will only be like five feet off the ground. So like all of you would definitely whack your head on it, but Kaz significantly shorter than that, so he has no issue. Right.
What are you moving? You can't move over to the same tile that uh, that Grotog is on because you do not know he's there. And then when you go to grab on, you'll feel him there. You might de pants him there, but uh, hang on. <laughs> That would be funny. Walk up to him, grab his waist, and <laughs> have him pull you up so you don't have to <laughs> do any work. Yeah, you know, you're, you're holding on to Grotox, so you, you guys are from, like, a human chain. chain. Yeah. You and Centipede? <laughs> oh, God, I hope not. I mean, I mean you, you are, are on the poop cart, so. I know, right? Go ahead and move, move yourself where you want to be, be, and then I will, we will determine roles after you've selected. Okay. okay. Go ahead and roll a climb check for me. Just crawl on him, crawl over me. Okay. I don't um, think he has any strength. Yeah. yeah. Um, Girl Talk, now I need you to give me a strength check. What? Because there's now extra weight grabbing on you. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, I am holding on. Yes. Okay, okay so, so now I need Sickatrix to give me a strength check. check. This oh, way is now cascading. Oh my uh, goodness. I got an eight. I don't know what growth I got. Okay. Um, I mean, does not matter? <laughs> <laughs> so, as Sigatrix and Growth Talk are hanging in there, you guys, Growth Talk feels around his waist and on his shoulder, like one, one around his waist, one on his shoulder. Human hands. As they grab on, and they start tugging at him, and he starts losing his grip. I need Grotog to give me a reflex save. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what are these rolls? All right, I gave you every chance, and you blew it, so. All right, you two fall off the wagon. So you guys fall onto the ground, um, and even worse, there is a thud as you two fall. Okay. Oh, God. All right. So, Sigatrix, you can feel in your hands, like, all of a sudden, Grotog gains a significant amount of weight, and all of a sudden, his hands are just out of your, out of your room. And then you hear a boom. All right. So is it I need, my turn? I need to do a perception. It's the uh, cart's turn. I need to do. Oh God. I gotta do a perception check on these dudes back here, though. Okay. Uh, lucky for you, they're pushing the cart. The cart, if you notice, there's no animals on it. They're physically pushing it. So their perception is pretty terrible, and there's a lot of yelling crap going on from all these giants hanging around. So they do not hear your thud. Oh my God. Okay. Cards moving some more now, though. I kind of had a cool idea if they would have. Um, I, I might accidentally move you, Scott, because I can only grab like a line. Well, he'd be under it anyways. Yeah, so you're going with. Well, well bye. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and reveal the card specifically so you guys know what's going on. There we go. The gate is still open, though. But you, you two, Grotog and Kabor, are prone. Well, I would like to try and get in there before the portcullis closes. Well, it is your turn. If you want to take a, a move action to stand up. Okay. Do I need a... I guess I'll have to stand up, then. Yep. Do I need to do a stealth, a stealth check to stand nope. up? Nope. No, you're the real Slim Shady, so you're good. Okay, so I'll stand up, and then I'll try and, like, fit behind, like, these ogres. Since they're, like, focused on, like... Yeah, I mean, you can, you can fit right behind, behind them. them. Yeah, I'll just sneak behind them. Then. Yep, you're, you're just, just gonna, gonna fall. fall. Yep. Okay. okay. Uh, uh Sigurd Sigurd, you're up. Um... I guess I'll just keep an eye on... See if I can see two sets of footsteps. Okay. Uh, give, give me a perception, perception check. check. Scroll Scroll already, I mean, this all happens simultaneously. But... Okay. In eight. You are looking around, and you see 
not one, not two, not three steps, which is what you're hoping for, but Zippo. Oh. Um, because your perception is terrible and cost feet are so tiny, it's hard to see his anyways. <laughs> All right, Kyle, you're up. I already kind of moved you a little bit. So, you just want to stay underneath the cart? Um, yeah, can I do, like, a, like, can I do, like, a little peek my head, like, out here? Yeah, like, perception, perception check? check? Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I'm sure it'll be reduced, because I'm, like, you know, not seeing everything, but at least uh, I can get, like, a... Yeah, yeah I can at least give you a little day out of the room. Yeah, give you a little bit of a bearing about what's going on here. Uh, 22. Okay. So I'm going to reveal a little bit here. Now, it, your vision is going to be slightly obscured. So I'm not going to give you as much, but I will give you enough that I think you will be satisfied. Okay. Um, to note, uh, there's an entrance to the north a little bit, and then right here is a staircase, a very large one. So you can see at least two different entrances. You can also see this very ugly woman um, from the book, not my, not my own words here. Okay, of course, it only does on my GM screen because, you know. That's kind of leading the charge, although you see her backside, but she is carrying this big old poop shovel. She's also, also not saying a word currently. Okay. Uh, Kabor, you're, you're now up. up. Okay. okay. All right. So I'm going to say we're going to stop rolling or stop going in initiative order because you guys have all successfully made it in. But I am going to move everybody. Um, hold on, i got to zoom in. Oh, Kyle got left behind. Citrix got left behind. I'm going to move Kyle at the top. So he's over the poop. Okay. All right, so, so we're, we're now inside, um, and, and the portcullis closes behind you. So we have one person under the cart, one person in the cart, and two people outside behind the cart. Um, I guess I should stay in order, because this is kind of whack. Um, nah, it's okay. So how you... I guess the real thing is, is where are you guys going to go? How are you going to communicate it to each other? And Sigatrix, how are you getting out? I mean, I can just climb out, can't I? Yes. Which way are you going to go? Up or down? North or south? Um, I'd probably go up. Okay. Go ahead and give me a climb check. All right. Can you can you do like a perception check to see if they're headed somewhere specific or if you'd like? I mean, there's no we're not in turn order right now, so you you can do it right now if you want. Oh, I thought we were. No, we're done with we're order. yeah we're done with turn order. Now it's just kind of free flow. I was just making sure that no one got left behind. Um, can I just do a? Can I do a perception check on, like, the lead lady in the front, too, to see if they're, like, headed to a particular direction? Sure. Would you roll? 31. Holy 31. buttholes. Okay. So, I wish I had my voice watch later, but, um, once they get in there, they kind of stop for a second. Which does give you guys a chance to make a move as you're calculating what they want to do. So, so you just travel check to see like where everyone's at. Yeah, six tricks. What was, is that fourteen or? 
Oh uh, my 15. god. Is that your climb check? Yeah, I got a 15. Okay, you're good. So you can go ahead and move yourself out. Um, girl talk, you have no idea what's happening. Uh, Kai, you are aware of where everybody is. You hear Cicatrix land behind you. Or in front of you. I don't know which way you're facing because there's no facing in Pathfinder. And you're also aware of the extra footsteps coming from behind you. So you now have a bead of where everyone is. And you're the only person who knows where everyone is. Gortok doesn't even know that Kabor's right next to him. Like, this is stupid. Like, why am I rolling ones and twos? Like, <laughs> I don't know. At least it's not combat. Uh, Alright, so... What are we... What did I did I hear anything about like where they're going or what they're talking? No, about she or she hasn't said anything. None of them have said a word. They all just stop. So they probably do this every time they come in here. Okay. Um, I mean, my vote would be. What What did you say this is? Um, it's a small. Don't, I mean, small is relative. I mean, that's what twenty feet wide. But compared to the other thing, it's small. Doorway. It's a doorway, yeah. So this leads... So this... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and outline... Can I do like a knowledge dungeoneering or engineering or something to try to like understand what what door that could be and what these stairs might lead to? Sure. I'm going to give you guys a bit of an outline of the area here. There we go. So that way... You know that. Hold on. Oh, wrong one. Ignore that. Okay, there we go. Because it didn't reveal anything that mattered. So you see that over here is like a giant, like courtyard between two long flat sections. Yeah, the part that's revealed. That's a courtyard. You're not sure if there's a door at the end or not. You just see that's a long courtyard. And there's like two main halls. There's like the, the super big hall to the south that has the three towers sprouting from it. And then you have a slightly shorter but still large hall to the north um, but has no tower sticking out of it. It looks more like an extension. And I will go ahead and highlight up here as well. Uh, that, that's just the wall and the mountains. So. All right. You hear Citrus Land, land to, the to the north. north. Where, Where are you, you going? going? I mean, I'd say we should probably go north. It looks like there's, like, this Are you kind of, like, yeah, no, are you going to go, like, tap us on the leg and, like, uh, I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. Like, we all just can't, like, magically go north. Like, well, yeah. He, yeah, he, he knows, knows Cicatrix landed, landed above him, though, to, to the north. north. So, so he, he, he can, can go, go north. north. I have no idea. And I don't think Kabor has any idea. Yeah, Kabor hasn't rolled yet. yet so. so. You can, you can, you can, you can walk, walk up north and, like, like you know, know where Cicatrix is. is. So you can, like, kind of whisper, whisper at him or tap him on the shoulder and let him know you're there. there. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll go and do that. So this cart has stopped moving. Correct. Correct. So you so can, can walk, walk out, out and not get, get run over. over. Okay. Well, then, I guess Sigatrix and I should, like, uh, I'll whisper to him to, like, move, like, follow me up this way. I'll put my hand on his head. Okay. Lead me around. Perfect. Um, can I do a perception check 
to kind of see what's going on? On your turn? Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay. I'm, I'm going to do Kapoor real fast, fast, and then you can do it. I know we're not in turn order, order, but... Okay. Kapoor hasn't done his check yet, yet and then, then absolutely. You can, you can just roll now if you want. want. I'm just going to say Kapoor goes through first. first. I need, I need to see, see if he, he knows, knows where, where he is. <laughs> hey, there, there you go. go. It's not so a one, one or, or two. two. Yeah, thank God. You're going to give, give me a roll? roll? Sure. Can I do a perception check? Yep. yep. Uh, I'll wait, wait on, on that. that. Okay, you, you, you also, also have, have no idea what's, what's going, going on. on. Okay. okay. So, so, that was, that was a, a perception, perception for you, Grotog, at 20? Yep. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, you're, you're kind, kind of scanning around, around and, and you realize there are footsteps, footsteps right, right next to you. you. So, you, so know you know Kabor's right next to you. You don't know where the other two are. But you, you definitely, definitely know that Kapoor is right, right next, next to you. Or, or a, a, a person. person. Could, Could be six tricks there. there. You just know, know someone's there. there. And he doesn't know where anyone is. No. no. So I will, like, put a hand on him to know, like, to signal that I am, like, right next to him. Yeah. yeah. So, so you two. So Kapoor instantly, instantly knows from your monster hand, hand that it's, it's you. you. And, and you can, can feel, feel from based on what he's wearing and the lack of scar tissue that this is probably Kapoor and not six tricks. Because it'd, it'd be similar, similar in foot, foot size. size. All right. I would say, I would try and tell him, I, I mean, I would just probably just drag him with me, and I would probably honestly try and go this way. Sure. I, I don't think, I don't know why, like, I, I just, my well, instinct. Well, I, I know you guys, guys go that way because, because it looks, looks less threatening, threatening than the main. Like, like, why would you go, go to the main staircase? Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. So. Okay. okay. All right, All right, yeah, yeah so, so you do, do that, that, and I'm, I'm going to say, say the core follows you, because we're not in turn order, so it doesn't matter. All right, All right. and I'm, I'm going to roll this over. Kai, you realize, realize that those two are also moving in the same direction. direction. So, so you, you can, can kind of steer, steer everybody, everybody to meet up. up. So, so I'm going to say you guys all... I keep trying to do it on the other screen, because my GM one's zoomed super far out. So you guys all meet up together, and you guys can kind of... Go, go up, up here, here away, away from, from everything. everything. While you guys, guys are doing, doing that, that, this cart is going, going to rotate and head, head south. south. So, so they, they start, start moving and they, they go into, into the darkness, darkness around, around the corner. corner. All, right. All right. So you so guys, guys are definitely out of your shot of pretty, pretty much everybody. everybody. Um, you guys, guys can... can just walk around, around a little bit. bit. You got, got like maybe a minute or two of your. Here, actually, actually I'll, we'll roll see how much time you have left. left. You have three minutes of your end is left. Okay, I think we need a scout, honestly, like somewhere where we can hide for a, a good portion amount of time. All right, All right so, so is everyone just going to run around? around? Who's, Who's going, going which, which direction? direction? And, and I can reveal really you some stuff. stuff. Are you, Are you guys, guys going to be back, back up, up as, as well? well? I, I need, need to know all of this. Um, I think we should just, like, talk and say that, like, we can meet up in the top right corner. That way we're away from everything. Well, like, the, these, these bubbles might be able to see, see you. Which one? What? These, these guys, guys might, might be able, able to see you. you. There's, There's nothing, nothing here. It's just flat, trampled, trampled grass. grass. I think, I think, I think here, let me read the description. description. I, think I think you guys, you guys get a sweet description when you walk in here. here. Maybe, Maybe it'll help you with your plan. plan. Um, here we, here we go. go. A gray stone cathedral sits atop a wide plateau carved into the side of the mountain overlooking the valley. From the ground below... Uh, a, a flight, flight of huge stairs staggers up, up the mountain slope. Um, don't, don't worry about, about that. Um, but uh, beyond, beyond that, that. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. See, there's, there's cold gray walls carved from the ancient stone of the mountain itself. Above, above the monumental, monumental structure, 
Three, Three colossal, colossal towers, towers climb hundreds of feet in the air. air. The central spire is tallest, flanked by two smaller towers offset to either side. The spire's apex, apex is crowned with a carved stone symbol of a huge anvil. Although heavily weathered, the cathedral appears to have mostly withstood the passage of time. The some walls bear the evidence of crude repair where the holes have been filled with ugly patches of concrete or softly braced with boulders and tree trucks. Um, once you guys are inside, um, you notice that the ground is trampled. And, and muddy, muddy as, as if, if there's, there's been a huge mass of people here or a scrub of some kind. You just know the ground's all torn up. Who's who's going where? I mean, should we? Do you want me to check inside this thing? I mean, that's what I wanted to do. So I guess we can both do it. Yeah. I move over. Is it open or? No. no. I, I just put that there. I just, that's, that's how I mark, mark doors. doors. Can I go there and uh, just like listen to see if I hear anything? Sure, give me a perception check. check. 20. So, so these, these are, are super thick doors, doors, but you do hear, even through this super thick wood, you hear the muffled sounds of deep voices coming from within. Several. Deep voices. We should not split up. Yeah, we're not going to split up. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, what do we think? Go up, like north, go north a little bit. Uh, sure. All right. Do you, you let, let the, the other two, two know? Yeah. That okay. There's some stuff going on in there. All right. You guys can head on up there. I'm going to set up a reveal. And I'm going to say once you guys move back here that your visibility runs out. Move back where? Back. Way back here. Yeah. Uh, no, where, where you are right now. Out of eye shot of... Everybody. Okay. I mean, should we pop our other invis? Um, I don't think we need it. Holy sh! It's a, it's a large something. Now, right here, this doesn't connect. Like, this is the side at the very back of the this part of the building. And this is the actual mountainside, but there is a little slip right there. Five feet wide, you can slip through. But there's nobody over here? Nope. Or that we see? Correct. Can we tell if there's any windows on these? Yes, there are big windows. But they are kind of, um, there's a lot of condensation on them because you notice, uh, give me another perception check and I'll tell you what you see through it. 31. Okay, yeah, I don't think anyone else can beat that. So, I will show you that here, here, and here. Um, you can see big cauldrons under huge flames. Um, you can't see what's inside them, but you see a bunch of cauldrons under these huge flames, and they're causing a bunch of water vapor to form on the glass. So it's hard to see in and out, but you do see that. It's three cauldrons. Can I do a, um, a knowledge check on what those might be used for or like what type of building this is? Sure. Something along those lines. Okay. We be a knowledge religion. religion. 31. Um, so this is a cathedral. And those are cauldrons which are used to brew potions, food, extracts, things like that. You, you can't tell from where you are what's inside them. Yeah, but just the generality of what they're used for. I mean, they could be used for potion making. They could be used for... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
clothes, like boiling clothes, food, they can make stews in them, you know, standard cauldron stuff, nothing fishy. Okay, I just wanted to make sure there was no, like, specific ritual associated with them. No, it doesn't look like, you don't see, like, pink smoke coming out of them or anything like that. Um, well, I will relay that to the group and then, I mean, ask them if they want to go here or circle back around. I mean, our invis is out, so we should probably get somewhere to hide and sit out in the middle of the open. Anybody? Bueller? I agree. Uh, okay, I mean, do we want to go, like, here and just hide out right here for a minute, or do we want to go, like, all the way back in the corner right now? I would say all the way back in the corner right now. Okay, do we want to pop our invis, or...? Uh, no, I think we're... Probably good. There's only there's only windows here at these like octagon looking parts. These squares have no windows, and there's no windows here at least. Could be windows here. Yeah, but there's no windows here or any of the square parts. Just these where the clones are. And we should be good without invis. Okay. Well, guess we'll just go up here. Okay. Uh, everyone give me another perception check for me. Thirty-two. Jesus. Okay, so, a couple things. First, there are no windows at all along this part. At all. So, there's no windows anywhere over here. So, whatever's here is windowless. Um, and Ka... And Sicatrix, you guys hear way off in the distance what sounds like a dull, deep roar. It sounds very far away, though. A roar? A roar. Are we trying to determine what the roar like a, is? Yes, like a deep bellow. I'm going to need a Knowledge Arcana. Okay. Dragon. 27. Dragon. Uh, 26. Okay. Um, it does definitely sound similar to the drakes you heard earlier. I'm not saying it's, I'm not saying it's a dragon, but you definitely it's in the Drake family. Awesome. And it, it is a very monstrous deep bellow, and it sounds like it's coming from super far away. And Ka, you can kind of locate it more. It's kind of echoey, so Citrus is having a hard time. Do you guys be in like this cave divot in the side of this mountain? But um. It sounds, it sounds like, like it's coming from way above you. Like, way up there. And yet you can still hear it. Mm. That doesn't sound fun. I will relay. Probable dragon ahead. No, up on the towers that we will probably have to climb. Yeah, like, that way. <laughs> up way. <laughs> By that way, he's yeah. pointing straight up in the air at the tower. Alright, would you like uh, perception around the corner here? Uh, I would like to. Alright. 15. Um, I'll give you just the basics of what you can see here. But you will get no other information. That is all you get. Oh, uh, right here, there's, like, it keeps going down. Like, uh, this is a tower right here. So, like, this is an octagon. So, like, so you guys can, go, like, go this way. Is what I'm saying. Is this an opening? Nope. Dead end. Oh. Just a little nook. Okay. But the, uh, can I... Uh, move to like here and do another perception check. Sure. Anyone else want to go with him? 
34. Um, I'll keep an eye on them. Okay. okay. What about the two in the back? What are you guys doing? Uh, I would like to get into like more coverage area. All right. Well, show, show me. me. Maybe behind Slide the wall. Okay. Great. All right. So, so a couple of things, things are gonna happen. happen. First of all, Kyle, with that, you see that there is a massive stained glass portrait right here, and it looks like there's another one right here. So it's just giant stained glass, um, literally, because there's a picture of some giant on it. Um, and you also hear what sounds like another bellow way up in the sky. A different bellow? Nope. Sounds similar. It could be the same thing. could be, you know, the same kind of thing. Could I could I deduce that it would I have to do another knowledge check to see if I could decipher the difference between the two? It would be impossible to tell. Okay. Um, There's at least one something oh. way up in the sky. Uh, I mean, I'll wave the group group up. They really don't want you flying here. <laughs> All right, I'll uh, join up. Yeah, everything back here looks pretty pretty safe. It's like you between this this uh rock to your left, um to the west is like super steep. Like you guys would barely be able to climb it if at all. Um, it's like when it, if it rains, like all the water will come spilling down here. All right, what do you guys want to do? You either go back or you can go down here. Those are your only options. I mean, we might as well just loop all the way around. Remember the poop? The poop people went down. Yeah, it's either go down or go back inside where we heard the deep voices or go up the stairs. Yeah, well, I'm just saying, like, while you guys are circling this way, the poop people can be circling around the other way. You have no idea where they are. Yeah, but I just wanted either to keep... way. Yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know. I'll say downward. Sounds good. Downwards. There you go. We do a little perception. Yeah. Well. 29. 20. I'm not done yet. All right. So, so tower, tower one. one. Tower, tower two, two. Tower, tower three. three. No, no entrances, entrances back, back here, though. though. You guys, you guys can keep, keep pushing, pushing further, further south, south if you'd like. like. Yeah, I'm assuming this just loops all the way around. So... What do you guys think? I mean, when you zoom all the way out, you can really see how big this place is. is. Yeah. It's church. church. Um, I mean, what? Just keep going down? Sure. Yeah, it works for me. How, how far do we want to move down to do another thing? I mean, we got to go pretty far, right? Do you want us to do this in increments, or? I, 
I say we just cut the middle, man. Yeah. yeah. I, would, I, would, I wouldn't let, let you guys walk, walk into, into a trap. trap. So if you guys have all the guns where I stop feeling, you'd be safe. safe. Like, like, I'm, I'm a, a jerk, jerk, but I'm not, not that, that bad. bad. <laughs> <laughs> uh, give me another perception check. I'll move in here since he's clearly busy with the dog or something. Yep. Nice. 24. Okay. Anyone, Anyone be a 24? 24? No. I'm sorry, what is this for? Perception. Perception. See, See where the, the heck, heck you're going. going. Uh, 29. Okay. okay. I'm going to reveal more. more. Um, I'm going to make, make like, like a, a, a jagged, jagged part. part. That, that means there's more over there. there. That's, That's like, like open ground, just so, so I don't have to, like, reveal extra, extra crap. crap. All right. So this, this is all open over here, so you guys can keep going, going this way. way. But there, there is another set of doors, doors leading into the southern, southern tower. tower. Uh, right, right here. Also, also closed. closed. I feel like this is Red Lake Fort all over again. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah, pretty, pretty much how any dungeon, dungeon is, right? All right, well, I mean, I guess, uh, can I move up to these doors and try to see if I can hear anything? Uh, uh yes, yes, but as, as you move, move up, up there, there the stuff, stuff on, on the right, right will do the thing. thing. So. Stuff on the right. Yeah, because yeah, there's this all open space, space over there. there. So, so if you, you walk, walk over there, there then whatever's over there, there, if there's anything looking, like standing there, it can just see you. Can I do a stealth down to here and then do a little peek yeah, around the you corner? Don't, you, don't you don't need to stealth. stealth. You're, you're, you're well hidden, hidden but, but yeah, peek's fine. fine. 26. I'm going to go look ahead. There is a tent stapled to the side of what appears to be the southern wing of whatever this huge church atrium is. Um, I guess I can reveal the whole tent. It's not going to reveal anything. All right, so probably what's what is that just not revealed or that's, that's the entrance. Ah, uh, I gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. yeah, but I don't see any people. Uh, you, you can't, can't see, see inside, inside it. So, so if, if there's, there's people, people in there, no, but I don't see any people out here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, there's, there's no, no one standing, standing outside. outside. Okay, well I'll wave the. And, and there's, there's more, more windows, windows here, here, but you, you notice, notice that there's, there's like. A good 60 feet up before the windows appear. So, like, it's 60 feet of just rock, and then 60 feet up, that's where the windows are over here. So whatever's in here is, like, up a floor. Can I do uh, any type of knowledge check to figure out uh, what this tent might be used for? Knowledge religione, please. Uh, you, you think, think that, that giants, giants live, live in them? <laughs> this tent? Yeah. yeah. Just tents, tents in general, general around here. here. Seems, Seems uh, pretty likely, likely that a giant will be staying in there. It could, it could be a creature of some kind. kind. Statistically, Statistically speaking, speaking, it's probably a giant. giant. Okay. Well, I'll wave the these you guys up mom get on up here
Yeah, I guess I mean, do we want to go check this tent out. Um, I almost yeah. I, I would prefer probably to go inside the building as opposed to the tent, wouldn't you? I mean, I feel like that's like where the priest stays, if that makes sense. The super, super fancy, fancy cathedral, cathedral and they make, make the, the priest stay outside, outside the tent. tent. Maybe. It's possible. Maybe it's, the alt- maybe it's the altar boys. Like, I don't know. <laughs> that's, that's the, the rape, rape. That's, that's the, the rape. rape uh, the rape, rape tent. tent. Yeah. yeah. The rape tent. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I, mean, I, don't mean, I don't mean to be grim. <laughs> I <laughs> brought it up. <laughs> I was thinking it at least. <laughs> I mean, right, we can. The door thing. No, you, you guys, guys always listen, listen as well to up the door. door. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You just want me to move up here and yeah, you put your little stealth? ears against it. You want you want a stealth roll? Nope, you're, you're good. good. You hear very loud snoring. At least what you think is snoring. Interesting. Isn't it like midday? It is. Yeah. Yeah, it's just after mm. It's like twelve thirty in the afternoon. I only hear one snore. You can only discern one, but there could be more. Okay. It's kind of echoey in there. All right. Well, I'll, you know, do a little wave to have them come up here and discuss what we're gonna do quietly. Zoom in. Enhance. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm zoomed like super far out right now. <laughs> yeah, I was too. <laughs> Couldn't find my character. Well, I'm, move, I'm moving a bunch of crap behind the scenes in the shadows, so. So, we want to go in the building or in or down near the tent? I mean, I say let's just go in the building. I mean, the tent might have someone in there. Sleeping. Okay. Seems like this is uh, sleep time. But can, can I stealthily open a door made for a giant, or you, you can, can try. try? You will run the risk if it's if maybe the door's just really loud and squeaky. Like you have no idea, but you can give it your best best pull. If you want to. We're going to have the little man pull it. I mean, I don't know. Jared's saying, saying, wait. You got something to say, Jared? All right, he's got something he wants to say. One second. Can I do dimension door? Yes, you can. Where oh would God, you like, where are you going to dimension door? Where to? would you like the dimension door to? I don't even know if it does. Uh, it's a teleport. All right. Yeah, it's really sick. So he can just warp you inside. That way you don't, you don't even have to open the door. Yeah. As long as you guys, as long as everyone's touching the person 
Like, it's, it's like, like a human, human chain. chain. So you either can all be touching Kabor, or if he's touching somebody, he's touching somebody else. That also works. You just have to all be touching. Like Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. 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 Wielding the powers. And, and when you guys warp, you guys warp, and you land in the exact position you left. So, like, if you guys appeared in there, this is the exact stance you'd be in. It's also it's completely silent when he does it. Like, he literally just takes a step. It's like walking through a teleporter. Sort of like uh, Doctor Strange portals. You just kind of step through. That's pretty busted. That's pretty busted. Yeah, except his are like really red and orange and glowy and fiery looking. All right. Would you guys like? Do you guys want to do it? He just bangs up. I can dimension door. Yeah, let's do it. Jared, Jared, what's your plan? Into the building? Like yeah, on the yeah, he, yeah. He was supposed to put you like right over here. No door problems. They have to open the door, and it'll be like as quiet as a footstep. So, I think we just have to. We would just have to do it on the other side of the door. He can't know. I mean, we don't want to like land on. If you land in a place that's impossible, it spits you out into the closest possible safe zone, and then okay. you take like two d six damage. Um, if you like, that means you have to be completely suffocated. Otherwise, you just kind of poop out. So with my with my uh, perception on the snoring, could I discern any area which it might be? The snoring or the snoring? Yeah, it's, it's this room is very like you can tell it's very open and huge, so it's just kind of echoing all around. It's just in there somewhere. Gotcha. I mean, you can also try to open the door. It's up to you guys. Kabor's offering his dimension door though. That's a quiet way in. I'm game. Have we good down? to do it? Yeah, if you guys all agree, you guys can just do it. I'll yeah, just, why not? I will portal you. Sure. All right. Pass the mention door. Poof. And you guys walk through this Doctor Strange portal. It's like the orange portal from Portal. And you pop out, and I'm going to go ahead and reveal this room. Ooh. Okay. Who has dark vision? It is, it is pitch black in here. I do. But you don't. Okay, so the two dark vision people. Beautiful. 18 You guys can see at least two giants sleeping on these giant bed rolls on the, the dirty ground. Let me see if there's anything I need to read here in the spiel. This is 13 in my book. Nope. Uh, here we go. Squalid sleeping pallets and thick, raggedy furs are spread across this mud cake floor of a circular room. Um, a great arch window frame runs around the perimeter of the walls. They have been boarded shut and sealed with concrete. The scent of rancid milk and vomit hangs in the air. Uh, your, your second's, second's gone, gone, by the way, Justin, so don't worry about that. Let's go. But there's two giants sleeping. No one is aware that you are in here. And there's a bunch of bedrolls. There could be more giants in here, but those are the only two you've seen. And they're asleep. There's a door to the north that's closed. I say we move to the door to the north. I mean, we have... Yep. I have nothing else to do. Let's not kill the giants. Okay, just gonna sneak around them? Yup. Alright, everyone give me a stealth roll, please. Think so. Got a 13. A lot. <laughs> uh, yeah. They have a horrible penalty because they're asleep, so you guys, I will go ahead and move you. Oh, I'm in the wrong. GM layer. Boom. With my 35, I get to draw on sh draw a face on them with Sharpie. Sure. All right. There is this huge set of 
<laughs> you just have double doors in front of you. The two people who could see, did you guys just kind of guide the two people who couldn't see, just like behind you? Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, just grab one. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, because Six Tricks and Grotog still don't trust each other, so. True. Alright, who wants to open the door? Can I do a perception to see if I hear anything? Yes. 23. You hear the sounds of what you believe to be metal chains slowly sliding across what sounds like a stone floor. One or multiple? Multiple. Mm. Maybe they're oiling the human prisoners. That'd be fun. Big old metal chains dragging on stone. Interesting. Guess we gotta open this door, right? Uh, since you guys are so close to the doors, I'll tell you right now that these are raw planks bound with hammered iron and they hang in the archways. So, they're very crude and... Uh, Blanky. Yeah. And loud looking. <laughs> That's what I was getting at. They're not nice doors that would just nice and gently open. These would like scrape. Mm. I have... Nothing to assist in this. Could we do a survival check in the room to discern, like, or to find out how many of these bedrolls are actually used? Uh, sure. My survival's trash, but I can I can roll it. Yeah, eleven. Anyone else that has dark vision? Is it... Not dark. Yeah. Survival. Oh yay! Sick. Uh, you don't know. You would you would assume all of them. That's not what I wanted. I believe there's ten, I mean, we ten could, rolls there. We could just Yeah. Could we could I do a perception check on them to see if like you said it smelled nasty in here. Yeah. Like are they sick? Or they do they look healthy? Can I do a perception check on that? Sure. Like, give me a heal check. Send, detect poison. Heal, heal check. check. Um. Eleven. Um, they, they seem, seem okay. okay. They, they just, just seem, seem like, like really gross, gross giants. giants. Yeah, yeah it's 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 rancid, rancid milk, milk and vomit, vomit hangs in the air. Well, are we just going to open the doors, or do you guys just like, wait? I guess I don't know what our other options are. I mean, we, to me, we have three options. We leave this place, or we kill the two giants, 
and try to do it silently. Good luck with that. that. Yeah. Or we open the doors and probably wake them up anyways. I mean, we could drink our potions and open the door. I mean, it'll still wake them up. Wouldn't see it, though. But yeah. their intelligence could be low that they would be like, oh, what's that? Oh, it was nothing. Yeah, they probably just assume that, you know, one of the other giants in the other room opened the door and then didn't come through. Okay, let's do it. All right. All right, everyone goes into this. Yep. Boop, 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 boop. All right, let's open the door. door. You, can you can give me a stealth, stealth roll, roll as, as you open it. it. Maybe, Maybe you'll get, get it done. done. Silently. Strong man. Yep. Pretty strong. Is that your so stealth, stealth roll? 53 on, 53 on stealth, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so you push, push open these doors and they scrape and rattle on the ground. ground. Um, and in the room, you see a few things. So you see this chamber that is filled with, like, oh, it's not filled with, it's like there's light leaking in from, it looks like two holes way up, like little slits, like arrow slits. So there's like a little bit of light casting in here. Um, you, you see, see a staircase, staircase that, that looks like it leads up in. I drew it square because that's how it was in the book, but it actually like wraps around like a, a lot to go to the next floor, floor because this room is really, it's got a really high ceiling. ceiling. Um, let me, let me see, see what that pool is. Um, okay. okay. It's, it's a well. well. <coughs> and there's, there's a wooden, wooden spindle, spindle and crank, crank wheel that lie next to it. it. Um, um, and, and you also see something else chained in the center of the room. This is the actual token from... The thing, thing you can buy in physical, physical form, because that's, that's the only picture I could find of it. Oh, God. Uh, I told you there's a lot of chains. chains. So, so you, you see, see this thing, and it turns both of its heads directly at you all. I need everyone to roll for initiative. What? Oh, my God. <laughs> Boo, you whore. He's got blind vision. Okay. okay. Uh, go, go talk, talk what you get. get. 15. Okay. Six trips. 17. Ka. 22. And Caber. Okay. Is that another roll off? No. no. Oh, because Kyle got he got a bonus. bonus. How'd you get an extra, extra four? four? Hey, hey Scott. Scott. What? Where'd, Where'd your extra, extra four, four from, from your initiative, initiative come, come from? from? Um, I cashed in my heightened awareness, which gives me a plus four. How long, How long does that last? last? An hour and a half. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, so that's, that's still the wrong one. All right. Um, I forgot to roll mine. I lose my plus two to perception, but I gain this one time plus four to initiative. Okay. All right. All right. So, so, in, in the, the surprise, surprise round, um, before, before we do, actually, we'll just go in the round one, one, before you guys say or do anything, you hear, who goes there?
And it's now Kaw's turn. turn. Um, you speak, speak giant, giant, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, he says, who goes, goes there? there? I don't feel a need to respond to this guy because I can't imagine he's friendly. You don't, you don't have, have to. to. I mean, he is. Is he chained down or does he just have chains wrapped around him? Both. Both. Oh. He, he does, does have, have a lot of chain weapons, weapons but yes, he, both his, his, uh, one, one of his, his legs, legs is chained down, down um, to, to the, the center, center of the room, room and like this giant, giant metal spike that just drove him to the ground. ground. Can, can I do a perception check to see if he's... Is, does he see me? Sure, sure. give me a perception, perception check. Like, maybe he's blind and he's just... Or, like, he can't see in the dark. It's, low, it's, it's, it's considered, considered low, low light. light. Maybe they just normally don't open this door, so he was wondering why they're opening the door. Uh, it, it looks, looks like, like he's looking significantly over, over your head. head. More at the doors. doors. Okay, well, I don't think he knows that we're here, so. He yeah, would, I don't. Either we go into the room or we just run away. I mean, might as well just go in. Yeah, if he's chained down. Yeah. Like... Okay, um, so I'm first. I did a perception check. I'm not going to answer that. Um, I'll go here. All right, I need you to make a fortitude save for me, please. What? Why? Oh, goad. All right. Um, you notice that Cobb becomes incredibly sickened at this smell of something rancid coming out of that well. Like, the condition sickened? Yes. Well, that okay. sounds good. So, can I then move away? Because that's one move action, or... Uh, yeah, yeah, but it's time to get rid of that condition on you. No, but I want to be next to it the whole time. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'll move over here. I'm done. Okay, I need you to roll a stealth check for me, please. Okay. You are able to contain your gagging, so that way it cannot hear you. <clears throat> Up next is Kabor. I just swallow it in my mouth. Gross. Not coming out this time. Oh, you're sticking for ten rounds, by the way. Oh, nice. That's uh, a minute and 40 seconds. It's an odd amount no, of time. That's, no, that's a minute. It's six seconds per round. So, times 10, that's 60 seconds. So, one minute. That's not a weird number. <laughs> that is less weird. I was thinking, oh, times 10, but then I took 10 times 10 instead of 6 by times 10. That's why we got a minute 40. All right. You can double move if you want. <clears throat> nope. All right. I need you to make a fortune save for me, please. <clears throat> um, unless your bonus is near the double digits, <clears throat> you are also sickened. Now I need you to make a stealth roll for me, please. All of a sudden, you guys hear a... 
a wretch. Yep. Uh, <coughs> it's Sigatrix's turn. turn. Did he respond to that wretch at all? Yeah, yeah I was, I was just, just gonna do it on his turn. turn. Yeah. Is that where the stairs start? Yep. Like, like I said, this room is very tall, tall, so. If you come in here, you're gonna have to roll a fortitude save. Not to my knowledge, I'm not. Not to your knowledge, but you can hear somebody throwing up, so that may... You just heard, you just heard him dry heave a little bit. Well, well, come on in. Um, I guess you wouldn't really know. Yeah, I'll just... This whole room smells like what Jared did to me right before Pathfinder started. <laughs> <laughs> it just ripped ass. It literally smelled like actual poop was dragged on the floor. <laughs> I just like, he took his bare bottom after crapping and just dragged like a dog along the ground. That's what it smelled like. Where are you going? That's bad. Up the stairs. All right, I need you to make a 42 save for me, please. What? Unbelievable. Are you immune to disease effects? Um... No. Okay. The gross hog is. Yep. You mean all disease? No, can't get sickened or nauseated, though. Oh, that's dope. All right, what's, what's your total? 16, 16 is disease, exhaustion, fatigue, poison, and staggered. That's nuts. 15. You are also sickened. Go ahead and roll a stealth roll for me, please. That is a 22. All right, you are able to contain your wretch. Gertog, you're up. I would like to follow Sicatrix up the stairs. Sure thing. Um, <clears throat> you are unable to be sickened, right? Cannot get sickened. Okay, then you're fine. It just smells like absolute butt in here. It's like, oh, it smells like my old village that he grew up in. <laughs> He's thinking that to himself or is he saying it? He thinks that to himself. Okay. Dang. We probably should have, like, discussed what we were doing. Yeah, now the party's split. It's now his turn, and he's going to be like, what was that? And he's going to clamber over here, and he's going to do a perception check. I need you to roll a stealth check for me, Gabor. I think you say he's chained to the floor. He is. I didn't say the chain was a foot long. Interesting. Okay. Oh. All right. He does not know where you are. All right. Round two. Ka, you're up. All right. Hold on. To what? Okay, sorry. Um, can I do a perception check to figure out where my teammates went? Yeah. Thirty-two. Uh, yeah, you can kind of assume um, footsteps. Um, that there's two people to the right, one person to the left, but you don't know who who they are. You can kind of... I, I would say that you know Kabor to your left because you recognize his wretch. <laughs> um... Uh, can I move... There. 
Sure. Um, and then can do I see like any pebbles or anything on the ground? Um, I mean, there's, there's like, like scrapings and small rocks from the chains kind of scraping up the ground. So sure. I mean, I'm I'm just thinking like, can I get like a little pebble and like eat it over there to like distract him? Um, now would that be considered a ranged attack, which would break your invis? Even if you're not hitting I mean, I think something? He has greater invis. But I'm only in invis right now. I'm not in greater invis. Oh, that's right. I, I think, think throwing, throwing anything, anything is considered a ranged attack, even if you're not hitting something. I mean, that, that, that would be up to you, whether you... Right. Um, I I am if if I have to, I will not. I think that's fine. I think the magic would know that you're doing it not for malicious intent. <laughs> so that's fine. Okay. Well, I'll eat it like over here. Sure. All you right. Just want me to do? No, that's fine. I'll, you just chuck it. I'll I'll do his reaction on his turn. Um, Kabor, you're up. My thinking is that his first assumption would be to run back the way that he came. Getting out of there, probably good idea. Yeah, he doesn't exactly know where we went either, so. All right. Uh, I, like I like that idea. idea. All right, up next is Sigatrix. Before you do anything, I need you to roll a perception check for me, please. Oh. 23. Um... Above you, coming from where the stairs are, you hear what sounds like cawing or cooing um, from several what you think to be large birds. Oh, God. Uh, knowledge nature that. Yeah. Knowledge, something that. Do you have nature? Yeah, with knowledge. Knowledge, nature, Rooney. Oh, what? That looks like a 20. Yeah, I thought that was a 22. What's, What's your total? total? 11. Um, You know that these are large birds, but that's it. That's all you know. You don't know what kind of birds they are. You hear at least at least seven, probably more, like, like calling or cooling sounds. sounds. Is there any way for me to know how long it would take to get to the top of this or past the birds? Um. So, so this this, this kind of goes, goes up, up like, like, like you, you see, see, and then it goes a, a full ninety degrees. degrees. Um. So that so way, you, like, like, you'd end, end up over, over here, here on the next floor. floor. Um, so, so it goes up quite a ways. ways. And, and then, then uh, based, based off, based off what, what you're hearing, it sounds like it just opens up to another floor. floor. Okay. Because the well, the well is, is that going down? Yes. yes. And, and you guys are going, going up. Assume. So there's a basement here. It's, it's just, just well. well. Ground. 
This, this is, is going, going down. down. This, this is going, going up. Up, up the, the tower. tower. So, like, you guys, guys go up, and then you wrap all, all the way around. And then you, you pop, pop out, out here, and you're in the next floor. floor. I see. Um... And the birds are on the way to the next floor? They're, They're on, on the, the next, next floor. Ah, uh, well. There's just, just so, so many, many of them. them. And I guess I'll keep going it's up. It's very loud. loud. You're going to keep going up? Yeah. Got to get to the top of the tower somehow. Dude, what are we even doing in here? Do we need to get to the top of the tower? No. no. I don't <laughs> know what, what you're, you're doing. doing. I mean, That's I guess. That's the dragon bellowing Drake thing. We're trying to... Uh, this is probably, like, important to the... We're trying to figure out what this camp is. I mean, they're gathering for something. Volsus wanted them to gather here. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I mean, you guys, guys completely, completely avoided, avoided the entire, entire area where, where they, they were, were gathering, gathering, so... Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll keep going up just to, like, check out what's going on. Sure. sure. I actually didn't draw the next, next floor, so, so you can, can kind of just, like, watch yourself so around here. here. Yeah. Because um, I honestly didn't think you guys were up there. <laughs> <laughs> I spent so much time drawing the other maps, maps which, which I thought you were going to go, too. Um, that's okay. okay. This, this one's, one's not too terribly bad. bad. I just had to draw, like, five Yeah, I just want to take a peek. Okay. You, you just, just want to go up and take a peek? peek? Yeah. You can do, do a, a double, double move and then you can perception, perception at the end of it. We'll, we'll just, just say you're like over here. here. Okay. okay. I just want to get out of this guy's area. So, so you, you kind of look, look in. You, you can't, can't see a whole lot because of the stairs. Um, see that guy? Yeah, you kind of stairs are like going from like the center of the room out. So like these stairs start at the edge and they come out like a third of the way into the room. So like you can only see like the middle area. Like everything else is like the angles too extreme. You, you see, see a huge, it looks like a bar, um, with, with tons of chairs that are kind of crushed and scattered around and stuff. And you see at least four, but they're, they're moving around, and you think there's more. Two-headed giant vultures. With greasy feathers flapping and cawing and pooping everywhere on these giant iron perches. That would go inside, inside like a bird cage, cage, but there's no cage. So they're just chained up, but cageless? No, no they're not, not chained, chained up. They're, they're just chilling. Just chilling. Um, so if they, they see you, they, they can come, come flying down. down. Yeah. There's, there's at least four. And they're two-headed. Two that's, that's why you heard so many calls. Um, give, give me a, a, a perception roll, too. Let me see what else you can... Okay, that's like it. That's like it. Try a knowledge check and see, you know. Yeah, can I do another knowledge check? Yeah, 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 you've seen them. I'll let you do another one. Nineteen. Okay, so you know that these are called rocks. R U K H S. They are vultures. Um. They uh, really, really like, like to eat rotten, rotten flesh and rotten meat. Um, and you can, can tell based on their size that these are only juveniles. So they're, they're very immature and kind of spazzy. God. Um. I guess that's all I can do, right? I double moved. Yep. yep. Yeah, I'm, I'm just going to have, have you floating. floating. Mm. Here, yeah, I'm, I'm just, just going to give you a little marker and let you, let me know that you're okay. You're on the stairs. There you go. Got a little, little foot, little, little booty. No, no I, I just remember that you were over there. there. Okay. okay. Um. Uh, one, one second. second. Okay. So, so next, next is Grotog's turn. turn. Uh, I will. 
I hear the. Do I hear the noises or no? Um, like the cawing and whatnot. Give, give me a, a perception, perception check. check. See, See if, if you're distracted, distracted from the, the chains grinding and. and... You, you hear, hear it. it. I hear the cawing. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I don't want to go up there. Um, I don't, I don't want, want you to either. either. Because <laughs> I didn't, didn't draw it. it. <laughs> uh, is this door closed over here? Yes. yes. Okay. And can I, like, this is all, this is the entirety of the room. Yeah, right? that's, that's a, a huge, huge wall, wall right in front of you. you. Right. Okay. And there's nothing, like, on it or, like, any, like, runes or anything, like, nope. biblical. Nothing. nothing. Just plain wall. Plain, plain stone, stone with, with like, like cracks, cracks and looks, looks like, like somebody slapped, slapped it with a chain. chain. Okay. Uh, I think Grotog is getting a little, like, I think he's worried about, like, the invisibility wearing out soon and whatnot. So I think he would want to go back to, like, here, if that sure. makes sense. Go ahead and move. Uh, uh, give, give me another, another perception, perception check. check. God, holy shit. 16. Uh, you, you notice, notice that, that those two giants, giants that were asleep before are currently awake, awake and standing at their beds. Oh my god. Kabor couldn't, couldn't see it because he was in the dark, dark vision. Can I see Kabor? No, no he's invisible. invisible. Okay. You guys, you guys are running, running, running around, around the same, same time, so you you, you, you know, know some one buddies, buddies in here. You just don't know who it is. Okay. Because theoretically, this whole round should happen like almost simultaneously. It's like back, 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 back. back. Okay. It is now Chainman's turn. And uh, he bellows at the top of his lungs. Who goes there? And he starts wildly swinging both of his uh, flails in like a circular arc. Sort of like, he's, like a Tasmanian devil just spinning. So every, anybody who was in a 10-foot radius around him would be smacked by this. But no one's there. He's just enraged and like... Spinning like, like a top with his flails flying around. around. Uh, very irritated. Um, and then, then after that, that uh, the, the giants, giants go. Do you speak, speak giant? Uh, I think Khan. I do. I don't know about the other ones. So Andrew, Andrew, you don't. You don't, you don't speak, speak giant. giant? I don't think he does. I don't think he does. Okay. Well, well they, they just, just go, go blah, 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 to, to each other. other. What's up? I'm... You don't, you don't speak, speak giant? giant? I do not. Okay. You hear, you hear them talking, talking to each other, other and they meet up in the middle. middle. Now that's, that's, that's their, their turn. turn. Now, now it's Ka's turn. turn. Round three. Can I do a knowledge local on that guy or whatever he is, this dude? Yeah, yeah knowledge local. local. Okay. okay. Uh, you, you notice, notice this, this is obviously an Eden, but, but this one seems more powerful. So it's probably a souped-up Eden of some, of some kind. kind. You, you notice, notice that, that one of his, his eyes is gouged out on one of his heads. I'll go ahead and... <clears throat> so you can see that. Uh, his, his name is Tharg Three Eyes, in case you couldn't read. Um, that's why. Um... And you also notice that uh, this like was a sudden mood change, almost as if one head is controlling at one point, and then now the other one is. So this guy's got like severe borderline personality disorder. Like he'll just like flip at the turn of the switch and go Hulk smash mode. He also reeks, so he smells just as bad as whatever was in the well. 
He's a giant subtype. I, I don't know anything else to tell you. Okay. Um... Can, can I do a perception check this way? Uh, which way? I was looking at it. Hand. This way. Oh, I'd just yeah. like to see, see if I know where any of my teammates are, like if there's any... Sure. What'd you get? Uh, 26. Yeah, so you hear, you hear uh, someone who walk past you on both sides, and you turn to look, and... You also, as you turn to look and see, you see that those two giants are up and talking to each other. What are they saying? Um, you're too far away to know. <clears throat> I would give it to you, but you actually get a penalty to that because the chains are making a lot of noise as he's spinning like the Tasmanian devil. Uh, but this room is dark, right? Yep. There's, There's like, like a little, little bit of light bleed going in through the entrance here, but it's very soft, so it doesn't go very far. Like 20 feet, I think. So only be here. That's why Jerry couldn't see them. I looked up candlelight rules. Um, <laughs> they're probably going to come in this room. That's what I would assume. Try to hush this guy down. Well, you guys can do trading spaces and let them come in. You guys can go out. Yeah, I'm going to move. You guys remember the days when you guys would just go in and smash everything you saw? Yeah, it was a lot easier. Those were the days. I think you're, you're enjoying yourself a lot more now. Oh, significantly so. You're like, oh, God, who's going to die now? Who is going to die now? Now it's all about strategy. I'm going to go there. Can I do a knowledge check on these giants to see if they have dark vision? Sure thing. They're hill giants, they do. 17. They're hill giants, they do not. They have low light. Ah. Uh, 17. Uh, uh, that's it for me. Boards up. This is a sticky situation we're in. I don't see a problem with it. Yeah, this is an interesting thing. You guys don't like having potential of three different rooms coming together in one combat? I'm more worried about how we're going to get out. Joke's on you, you're not getting out, bitch. <laughs> you got a long way to run. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I can just fly. Yeah, you can fly out. But you have a dragon that's gonna eat you if you do. So well, he's like I'm not gonna. He's, he's like in the sky. Yeah, he's like sixty feet above you guys. Because he went out the stairs and wrapped around, so he's like way up there. It's sort of like um if you play Dark Souls um where Havel is, you know how like that tower is. That's how this is. Nope, I don't know that. Okay. Did not play Dark Souls. All right, so you know the part in Harry Potter where they show where the, the stairs are kind of moving around and stuff? Yep. Uh, just think like that, except the stairs are all on the edge. Ooh, fun. And not moving. Excellent. Didn't play Dark Souls. What's wrong with you guys? It was too hard. That's what she said. But you, <laughs> just, gotta, you just got to get good. You just got to practice. No, I didn't want to practice that much. It's not worth it. You play an Elden Ring, Justin. It's the same thing. No, it's way easier. I actually have a, a choice. A choice? I can farm up if I want. Farm up if I want to. I mean, you can farm in Dark Souls as well. It's yeah, just the exact same spot for seven hours. Yes, it's very... <laughs> it's horrible. I'll prepare. 
prepare their spellbursts. All right. So you have a, what? He's preparing a spell burst radiance. When are you going to use it? If things go south. Okay. That's no longer just do spells. Yeah, I don't know what that is. So. Um, Sticky, you're up. All right. I didn't look at the exact rules of burst radiance. I'm going to run back and oh god just peek around the corner so I'm kind of in between the two floors on the stair on the stairs yeah you see that guy still just going tornado mode yeah I'll... I see that that door isn't open so I'll just wait okay because I don't know where anyone else is go talk you're up I think I want to move kind of like in between Kabor and Ka just in case they want to go out that way. Sure thing. Do I need a stealth check or am I okay? Nah, they're talking to each other and it's dark in here. And okay. they're, they're dumb, so don't even worry about it. I would, there's okay. like no way. Okay, um, this guy's going to stop spinning and he's going to start running around the room. Whoa. And he, like, he goes all the way over to here and starts pounding on the door. He's oh, like, my God. Josh, uh, no. Stop it. Does, Josh, stop it. does Sigatrix speak giant? Uh, yes. Okay, you hear him saying, Let me out! Let me out! Interesting. All right, and then Beavis and Butthead are going to go. That's what I'm going to name these two down here. I need to mark them. Be this and buy. <laughs> yeah, okay, there we go. Um, and they're going to start walking into this room. And Kabor is perfectly placed. That way he does not get hit. Wow. They walk right past him. Um, and they start saying back. Um, hold on, I forget the guy's name. Tharg. Tharg, you moron! Shut up! I'm trying to sleep in here! <laughs> Alright, round four. Kyle, you're up. Oh, these guys are up further. I just ran out of space on my screen. Okay, I mean... I pretty much had it with this area. <laughs> yeah, me too. So, and our invisibility is about to run out, so I'm just gonna. Hall duty. Book it. I'm just gonna book it out of here. Okay, the doors are closed, so. Oh, jeez. Yeah, back it up, son. Uh, can I open the door? I mean, not they're this, all the way in the other room. Not this round, you can't. That's a double move, mm -hmm. sir. Mm. All right, come on, you're up. You held your composure as both these uh, hill giants stumble past you. Where are you going? Oh, oh shift. shift. Is, Is it right, right click? click? Oh, it's, oh, it's right, right click. click. Pass. 
pad. I'm good if you're coming to me. What you gonna do when I come for you? Where you want to go? I'm good. Okay. Alright, he, he moves, moves down, down too. too. Sick, Sick you up. Alright. Uh, seeing as they're blocking my way. Oh god, I scrolled so far. Where am I? <laughs> I'm gonna cast Flight. Okay. Let me just, uh... You, you can just, just eat, eat off, off the edge, edge if you want. want. That's true, I can. Skedaddle on down there. Sure. sure. I don't remember where. Somewhere over here. That's, That's good enough. Doesn't, doesn't matter. Um, go talk to her up. I'm going to give her that boot on you. Do I know where the others are? or Survival Yoni. 26. Yeah, you know that somebody just landed like, like a bird next to you, so you can assume that's Cicatrix. And you, you see some footprints that were near the door that are running back towards the other way. So you, you think, think your other buddies are running move past you. Okay. I will head that way then. Okay. Um, so, so once, once again, again, it is this is beautiful Buckle's turn. And he's, he's going, going to continue to smash on the door with his flails and inflicting damage upon it. So we're going to do some rolling here. He's like, like let, let me out! out. Let, let me out! And, and the, the other guy's guy gonna go, You idiot! What are you doing? My god, god this is the third, third time today! It's only noon! noon. Calm, Calm down. down! And they, they go, go, like, kind of grab onto him and stuff. Uh, uh, kind of grab him by the chains, and he's just smacking at the door repeatedly. Um, Alright. Um, I'm, I'm going to say uh, uh, combat, combat is, is now over, essentially, but I'm going to make sure you guys are okay with stealths and stuff in terms of getting the door open and things like that. But they're, they're so, so far away from you, there's no point doing in turn order anymore. Who wants to open the door? door? You all you kind of know that you're each, each other's there. Uh, do you think I should, Josh, for strength purposes? or? I, I, I think, think Kabor should, personally. personally. Okay. Um, You're asking the wrong person. <laughs> I think I should. Um, I open it. Do I need to do a stealth check or? First, give me a perception, perception check. check. Perception. Okay. Yes. Sixteen. There is a giant wooden bar that go that is going across the door, preventing it from opening. So we need to lift it to get it out. Right. right. Okay. And then, and then we just locked from the outside, so you guys wouldn't be able to come in unless you did it the way that Jay did. So, a strength check to lift the bar, essentially. Um, yeah, yeah just give me a strength, strength check. check. Just straight, straight strength. Fourteen. Okay, okay yeah, you're, you're able, able to, like, lift, lift the bar up. It's on a hinge, so kind of lift it up. That's going to take a whole round, round though. Um, okay. so, I mean, I mean we're, we're not in turn order. Like, like, you want to open, open the door, door too? I would, I would like to, but... All right, I, I go think. for it. No one else wants to say anything. anything. You, you all see that this bar's going to lift it up, so you know that somebody's doing it. it. Do I need a strength check for the door, too? Um, sure. Nineteen. Yeah, yeah, so, so you, you like, like shove on the door, it doesn't, doesn't budge. It doesn't make a sound, though, it's just kind of stuck there. And then you kind of put your shoulder into it, and it, it kind of snaps open. 
It, it makes this loud popping, popping sound. sound. Um, and, and as, as you, you do that, that all the giants in the other room kind of turn around. You guys are able to book it before they even are able to do anything about it. So, so which, which way do you guys, guys want to run? run? Um, well, that's toward the hut. Are you all right? Okay. I'm down. Go ahead and move yourselves. Toward the hut? Hut! Hut! Hike! I mean, unless you just want to go all the way back around. I mean, do we want to leave the, this, or do we want to, like, keep looking for, like, another artifact or something? I'm Good just design. thinking, like, we're running from a place to go to another place that, I mean, we don't know what's inside, but, I mean... I mean, that's for everything or, everywhere. <laughs> no, but if we're hastily doing it instead of, like, taking our time to inspect it... We're not going to be running straight into it. We're just, like, running this way. We are still invisible, too. We are still invisible. Yeah, for not much longer. Also, also true. We weren't in that that long. You got yeah, here. Hold on, I'll roll. You guys have three minutes, minutes left. left. All right. Well, what's just going on here in perception? You tell me how far you want me to go, Josh. Um, that's fine. fine. Do I need to move a little bit to like? here and get a little peek inside um there's, there's a, a flap, flap over that i just want to show you where the entrance, entrance was so you, you can't, can't see inside, inside anyways um oh. but i will reveal some more um you, you look, look over, over yonder, yonder and you see the poop cart and another tent Let's go. No, no entrance. You can see on the tent, though. So it's probably, probably on the other side. side. Can I move somewhere. up to here? And do you want me to stealth? Uh, yes. yes. Okay. 36 on stealth. 31 on perception. Okay, so, so you, you look, look in there, you get dark vision? I do. Okay, I'm, I'm going to read you a little spiel. A huge, horseshoe-shaped table laid with curious metal tools, pincers, prongs, and other strange items sits in the center of this tent. Glass bottles and jars filled with milky fluid, each containing a bloated and waterlogged eyeball, bounce upon haphazardly arranged wooden shelves. A sizable collection of birds, including crows, hawks, and owls, hang lifelessly from the tent's roof, strung upside down by their feet. And also, while you're in there, you hear a voice. And the voice says, well, Hello, please come in. Ah, uh, jeez. Oh, fuck. At least we got good use of out of our potion. What language? Giant. Giant. You do you not, not see, see them, them, though. You just hear the voice. Well, I'll wave the team up. I mean, we going in, or we? I mean, I guess. I walk okay. in. I guess we'll we'll we will venture into this tent. All right, so everyone steps, steps in. in. Mm-hmm. All right, as you step, step in, in, you hear this. This is a, <coughs> a deep, deep female, female voice. voice. 
He's like, like I, wasn't I wasn't expecting your kind around here. here. What, what brings, brings you to this place? place? Couldn't tell you. You, you, you guys, guys are so invisible, invisible but, you but you don't, don't see, see her, her either. either. That's weird There's that she knows that we're here. Probably some sort of oracle. <sighs> That's a pretty good guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, here we go. She's like, like you, you, uh, how, how many, many of you are there? there? You, you all will uh, make something quite fantastic for me. I was not expecting such a gift. Tell, Tell me, me, how many, many of you are there? there? I want to leave. <laughs> I will also take a step back. All right, so you guys are going to try to exit the, the tent? tent? Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, well a couple, couple things are going to happen before that happens. So, so as, as you guys, guys are trying to step back, back she goes, Oh, no, no, no. We are just, just getting started, started boys. And you guys hear the sound of what sounds like thunder as I need who is gonna step back? Uh me. And and Ka. Are you, Are you both stepping, stepping back? I I mean I will to I'm totally stepping back. Okay, okay so, so I need I both of you to roll um a reflex save. Gotta be Will. Uh, I'm, I'm deciding between which one I want to do. I already mentioned, mentioned the thunder, thunder, so we'll do... Uh, I gotta look, look up the spell. spell. But uh, I'm gonna, gonna need everyone, everyone to roll for initiative, initiative and, and we're gonna continue, continue this next week, but I just want to let you guys know what's going on. Ah, uh, jeez. Should we just roll for initiative next week, then? Yeah. I think we should. Um, I need both of you to roll reflex saves next week. As... She, something she she appears as she does this because she too is also invisible. Um, as she is casting lightning bolt from both her and her staff. So you guys are going to be taking massive damage as you roll well on this reflex save, and I'll show you what she looks like in preparation for next time. She's casting two lightning bolts. She has a quicken rod. I want that when we kill her. Cast a spell at uh, as a move action, so she can do both. She has a s oh, it's a rod. Does mm -hmm. that still cost the meta magic cost? Nope, rods do the meta magic cost for you, so it has its own charge, so it can do X amount of spells per day. Sounds busted. Yes. Um, but yes. Um, this is how she appears to be. Uh, sort of, except. Imagine more lightning coming from her. Like yes. Water giant. <laughs> yes, exactly. She's just going, oh, boys, as lightning gets struck down. And we will see you all next week as you deal with whatever the heck she is. Woo! Get ready for a mage, baby. Let's go.